Hey, all my nerd fans out there, you're here for another episode of Nerd Mr. Chili Nerds Forever. So let's get to it. And I'm talking about today Spider Man No Way Home spoilers. Let's talk about all that greatness we just watched the movie. And it was great. The Spider Man No Way Home, no Home, Way Home movie was totally awesome. Great for old fans, new fans. Fans of the Tom McGuire movie, fans of the Andrew Garfield movie, fans of the Tom Holland movies. This was hands down great. He had all the villains in there. Green Goblin, freaking uh, Dr. Octopus, Electro, all from the other um, classics, other Spider-Man movies. On the foe. Oh, my God. It was so awesome. Dr. Strange was good in there, too. It was fun to watch. It was fun. And... It was sad too, made me cry. Oh my god. The scene Mary Aunt May dying was great. Being seen all the big three in there. Basically the big three of the Spider Man universe now. We got Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and freaking um uh Tony McGuire. It was great seeing them all in there together. Fighting, fighting their own villains, fighting all together. Willing to fold, definitely. Whew. It was awesome that movie. Just the perfect Green Goblin. It was just fun to see him in that movie. And the fight, the scene on the bridge it was so great with him, with Tom, um, Tom Holland and Dr. Octopus. It was so great and so fun to see him fighting in the, in the end of the credit. I mean, the end of the scene of the livery fights. Awesome. All of them getting cured. And I hope they make more Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Man movies now with the director of this time. Uh, Where's directing Tom Holland movie? I forgot his name. But they need to work on him. I'll be and the way they end to the end, how they end the uh, Spider Man No Way Home, perfect in my book. I feel like they shouldn't do no more. It was the end game ending. That's how it felt. Like well, out with all those movies combined, watching the first three Spider Man with Tom McGuire, then this two Tom Holland movies, and with Tom Holland watching all those, it felt like it was connected. It was like all connected. Like it all matter watching. That's what it was, was so great. And it felt like it was just the end game. Like, this is it. The way it ended, like, it was great. It was perfect. Tom Devin, he doesn't want to act no more. He's playing Spider-Man no more. He, he feels like he wants to take a break from that character, and you want, you want him to do no more. He doesn't want to do no Spider-Man for right now. Do more movies by Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield. That'll be great. But Andrew Garfield in the Venom universe, it feels like it should be. Tom Tom Hardy, one of the mid-credit scenes, went back to the universe. And there's a Spider-Man in that universe. Hello, that'll be perfect to go. And Toby and Guard, all the car- villains look like they got they died, so they went back to the universe. So they should do more movies. I'd like to see the Green Oz um Will and the Foe character in Toby back in Toby's world. How he develops his character, got rid of the Green Goblin. And we could put new villains in that. We, we haven't got a Vulture in Toby's yet. We haven't got um, a Mysterio in Andrew, Andrew Garfield. It'd be great to see these villains in there. We haven't got an Otto Octavius in Andrew Garfield. We haven't got Mysterio in Toby's. See, great. You could do so much movies. And maybe do... It'd be great if they do... Tom takes a break. And the time he does come back, they do another big one. And they do multi- Spider-Man in the multiverse. The, a big movie like that. All one combined together. Like do one Tom Holland movie, me on um, Tony McGuire movie, one Andrew Garfield movie, one each, and boom, the next one somehow mixing with um Tom Holland and Tom Holland have enough break. Probably want to do it now. Did his own thing. It'd be great. See that introduce new character, Gwen Stacy, a Black Cat. They haven't been Black Cat in any of these Spider Man's. Be perfect to introduce and. In, Maybe the Andrew, um, Andrew Garfield one since Gwen Stacy died. That would be crazy. And that would be cool if they do a Gwen Stacy movie and Emma Stone comes back to play that character. That would be dope. And have that connection with Andrew Garfield character. I've been seeing memes like that. Like he, well, how he reacts since he has Gwen Stacy died and she becomes a spire, um, a spire woman in her universe. Then that would be crazy. That would be shock. Oh, the Spider-Man universe is so great right now. They're building that so much. And I hope they do more Tobey Maguire movies and um, Tom Holland. Um, Toby would be good for one more. I'd like to see him have a kid. Like an old Peter Parker, the wisest one. He is the oldest out of all of them. And it would be great seeing like that he's the wisest one. Maybe he'll have the Miles Morales in his universe. Like he'll be died, the ultimate Spider-Man universe. Imagine that. Oh, I just thought of that right now. That would be so cool to see. Like he, 
um, his movie, he'll have Miles Morales, he's training him, and and he will have um, a kid, or you will have a kid, um, I think yeah, Aunt May, uh, one of them two, that'll be dope. Has a kid with Mary Jane, because his Mary Jane down, or just had he dies in his Miles Morales. That's how he he make a Miles Morales in his universe. That'd be dope. That'd be cool. See, how she bring Miles Morales in the universe, in that universe. That'd be so dope. I would so like the idea. Just a Spider Man, uh, future of Spider Man movies. So much ideas could work. And I hope Venom gets into this picture somehow. Still, want to see um, Venom face one of these Spider Mans. We gotta have a connection one of these days. I'd be so hyped. Just, it was so good seeing this movie. All the spoilers and the future. I and mean, I can't wait to see Doctor Strange. I want to see how it connects. You show the end, 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 end credits of the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Show the trailer of uh, Doctor Strange Into the Madness. Multi, uh, multiverse Into the Madness, I think. And I can't wait to see that. Doctor Strange too. Uh, I'm definitely going to do reviewing that. I want to see Scarlet Witch. I want to see her. There's going to be a mute in there. An X-Men mutant. Will it be Magneto, Scarlet Witch Father, or the real Quicksilver, or Sun in there? Oh, it's gotta be Sun. It's gotta be Imagine Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Oh, if it's Hugh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine, oh, it's over. The theater's gonna scream. And we see Deadpool. If we finally see the X Men, I think that's the movie we're gonna see the X Men. We're gonna get the X Men into this universe because I think Marvel needs help. And because. Some of these other characters, I haven't seen the Saiyan Chi movie. I haven't seen the Eternals. I wasn't interested in seeing those movies, really. They didn't bring me into them because I didn't know even... I'm a com big comic book reader. It didn't bring me into seeing these movies. It didn't bring me once. Like, ah, I really didn't want to see Saiyan Chi. I didn't even like the Mandarin, the way they did. Cause not a big fan how they did the rings. I'm, I'm a hardcore fan. I like, I like the ring rings on his hands, not uh, on his arms. I was like, ah, I didn't feel like Mandarin. It didn't feel like Mandarin to me. They always messed him up in the first time. So I was like, ugh. And Eternals, I didn't know nothing about Eternals. I didn't care about any of the Eternals. So I was like, ugh. So I think in the future of the movies, Marvel Universe still hasn't excited me that much. The Black Panther, I wish Chuck Ball, Balzen didn't die. Please forgive me if I messed up his name. Um, I wish he didn't die. It'll be so future with him. But I'm not not that hyped for Black Panther 2. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. Who knows? Um, and... Captain Marvel 2, still not the hype. And most of the shows are really good. I've been loving the um, Disney Plus shows, so they've been really good. The only one I'm probably hyping the new generation is Falcon. The Falcon, Captain America Falcon, the movie. Oh, that's going to be good. I think it will be good. I like the Captain Marvel, um, Captain America Falcon. That's going to be, I think it's going to be good. That's the only one I hype, but they need the X-Men characters, man. They need to bring them in that universe. They need the X-Men. I hope they bring them in soon. Hope to see them. And then the Marvel Universe will be start getting it popping. And the Fantastic Four. Hope they, can't wait. Hope to get good directors for those. Do a lot of good work on them. Save those two universe um two care um big old teams, Fantastic Four X Men. Oh, save them. Box to kinda of destroy that movies, those characters when they did those movies. I hope they do better with these guys. Hope so. But Spider Man No Way Home, fantastic movie. Fantastic. Sad happy good good for all fans i loved it every minute of it 10 out of 10 hope you all loved it too hope you all saw it before you saw this movie it's totally spoilers oh daredevil was in there oh my god daredevil was in there it was so great to see daredevil matt murdoch i knew everyone was like he has to be in there in the same week too we saw another spoiler hawkeye i'm not gonna talk about it but we saw two characters from that show in there and it was great to see it it was great to see Daredevil and Aaron. I hope we get one day seeing the Spider Man universe. Tom Holland and Daredevil team up, fight bad guys. Oh my god. Like old school street fights? Come on. And I hope we get some bullseye for Spider Man. Imagine that. That'd be dope. Like they need to start mixing these villains up, man. Just don't put Spider Man villains in here. Put bullseye, bullseye. Come on, put bullseye on the Hawkeye show. Put bullseye with Spider Man. Come on, imagine that. Be dope. Change it up. And we're all in New York. We're all in the same city. <laughs> Anyways, this is my Spider-Man into um, No Way Home. And it was great watching it. Hope you all loved it too. Hope you love my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Like it. It was fun talking to you, all your nerds out there. And please keep on watching my videos. I'll keep posting more. Trust me. Next week, I'm going to be talking about comics. 
Uh, the next movie I'm going to be talking about part Morbius. Let me know any movies you want me to do reviews. Me, I'll go get some time to take, see it, let you know how it is. Go about, kind of want to stick to nerd movies, mostly big time nerd movies, like the Batman and um, Shazam, the Black Adam movie, Shazam movie, all those nerd movies that's coming out, that comic book movies, game movies, maybe the Sonic one too, because I, I like Sonic the first one. And maybe all those. Let me know. Are there any other movies you want me to see? I try to go see for you guys. See, don't waste your time. Or go see in the movie theaters. Save you, or save you money. I'll let you guys know. Thank you for watching my videos. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Love y'all. Have a good day. Or a good night. A good day. Good week. And a good month. And a good year. Love y'all. Peace out.